Ciao. Welcome back to Pasta More, Pasta with Love. I'm Chef Joe Melli, and I'm here to say Happy New Year, or as we say in Italian, Buon Capodanno. It's been a long time since our last video, and I figured what a more perfect time to do a video is right at New Year's Eve, or shortly it will be. All right, so tomorrow's New Year's Eve, and then we got New Year's Day, so I thought that I would show you an Italian New Year's Eve uh, dish that uh, you may not be aware of. Something that uh, is one of the many uh, New Year's Eve dishes um, that they do in Italy, and it's called Agnolini. Agnolini is a very small, round, ravioli with a scalloped edge and it was um, thought that they resembled coins and coins uh, mean luck and um, New Year's Eve obviously we want to start the new year off with as much luck as possible and much fortune as possible so we're making these pasta raviolis called agnolini in the shape of a small coin and we are serving it just in it in a, uh, a rich rich broth that's made from the ingredients of the filling and it is um, indigenous to this recipe that we use a specific filling for this ravioli it isn't just any you can't just make any filling for the agnolini agnolini is very specific so let me run over those ingredients. We have a broth, a rich broth that's made from beef, veal, and chicken. And we want lean feet, lean veal, and chicken with no skin. Okay, so we don't want too much fat in the broth. And then along with that is a mirepoix of onion, celery, carrots, some garlic cloves, a uh, sprig of rosemary. And we simmer all that for hours and hours until that meat is fall off the bone tender. Okay? Then we take that meat out, let it cool, strip all the meat, and we take the veggies, strain those out. We add the veggies and the meats, all three meats, to a food processor. Grind it up, put that in a bowl, and we're going to mix that with like a cup of panko crumbs, a cup of Parmesan cheese, about a tablespoon of chopped parsley and a little salt and pepper and we mix that up and then we have a filling that is, I don't know if you can see this, but it's uh, a really soft, moist, flavorful filling of all of that meat. And then we save that broth, which I have this beautiful broth right here that we're going to use to top off our agnolini at the end. And I have a special garnish for a New Year's Eve dish. Wait until you see it. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I re-rolled my, pre-rolled my pasta sheet. So I have my pasta sheet here. Um, you know, we made this in several other videos and classes. Five eggs, pound of durum, roll it out super thin. Okay, so that's where we are at. So right now I have my two little cutters. Okay, these are just basic small biscuit cutters. Um, and these are going to um, shape our agnolini. So what I'm gonna do first, I have my brush and I'm gonna put my glue down first. So I'm just gonna brush my sheet lightly with a little water, that's it. And then I'm going to put little you can see these are very big little round tiles of the filling and I already pre moistened my sheet so we saw that okay so now I'm gonna take another sheet I can see just like this we're gonna place it on top Okay, and then I'm going to proceed to 
get the air out. So as I lay my sheet over, you see what I'm doing here, okay? I am lifting it up, pressing down, so that when I lay my sheet down over these anulinis, we won't have any air. seal all around. Then I'm going to take my little cutter and with the upside down part of it I'm going to frame so that you will see all the filling pop up just like a little mound and now you have those. All right then I take my extra uh, my larger cutter and then I'm just going to simply Now, you can see it has a little uh, scalloped edge, like the size of a coin, right? And it has the meat filling in the center. These are agnolini. So we're going to cut out. So what I've got here is probably enough for a, uh, an order, a portion. So a little, a little history, a little history. But Italy, you know how crazy those Italians are. Well, um, you are supposed to, in order to uh, bring forth that good luck on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day for the coming year, you are supposed to wear red underwear New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I'm not going to tell whether I got mine on or not. But anyway, this is one of those, one of those, uh, oh, those old sayings or those old uh, traditions in Italy. So, hey, why, why, uh, why tempt fate? I would go out and get your red underwear and put it on. And then make this dish, right? So, you can see, so the, the filling... The longest part of this recipe, and I will post this along with the video, I will post the full recipe, so those of you that want to try it may be able to. I'm just showing you the process right now. So, um, we can re-roll this if we wanted to later. But let's do, let's do that again, just so everybody that was watching, so you can see I've got a nice little stack of coins here. Okay, so again, I'm going to brush my, my pasta sheet, or my spolia, if you remember that term. And then we're going to pop down, filling again. Okay. So again, I have my top sheet that's going over, but let's get the air out. So what I'm doing is pressing in between each mound of filling that I got here. And then we're going to frame them again with our little one. then cut these out one more time. So these, if you don't want to use these right away, these can be put on a sheet tray, place them in your freezer, and I'll show you what I got because I have some in there right now. So, um, and as soon as we do this, we are going to boil these, right? So I'm 
am going to... So, I have my stack of coins right there. And then... So you can see, like I made these, right? These freeze really well. Now at this point, I can take and put these into a Ziploc bag back in my freezer, and I'll have them for whenever the next time I want on your meat. Okay, so I have rapidly boiling water here on the stove. I'm going to drop my agnolini in there. I'm going to pull my, here's my serving bowl, our presentation. And I'm going to grab my broth, my brodo. So I have my beautiful, rich brodo. Oh, if you could smell that right now. It, it, did you guys realize somewhere in Japan, somebody has created a technology where you can taste food by licking your TV screen? I'm not kidding. I was on the news last night. Not so sanitary, I don't think. I don't think uh, Having a, a group of people in your home licking your TV screen is going to be the most uh, sanitary thing you've ever done. I don't know if that's going to catch on. Probably not. Uh, we've always wanted smell of vision Well, now they went further and they got taste of vision But somebody in Japan, go figure. Anyways, um, these are going to cook um, probably about two minutes or so. Uh, remember I said that the dough had to be rolled out. Thin, thin, okay. Um, so if the dough is rolled out super thin, uh, when you press them together, it, the dough is not going to be very chewy. Um, and it's not going to be, you don't want, what you don't want is al dente. Not in this case. Fresh pasta, remember, cannot be al dente. Okay, good. So our coins are cooking away here. I'm going to take my soup bowl right over to the boiling water, of which I had previously salted to taste like the sea, correct? All right, so now, look at these. Look at these gorgeous. Okay, so I got my agnolini. Bellissima. And now I have this beautiful, rich stock. I'm going to ladle. Just enough over to cover. Okay, so now we have our agnolini in our bowl. And I'm going to take a little more of that. Because we had Romano cheese on the inside. So I'm sprinkling a little more grated Romano on top. And now I'm going to add that New Year's special garnish. gold leaf that I am going to just place a little bit on our soup to give us that New Year's special, uh, what do we want to say, um, you know, New Year's is kind of like you, when you put on the dog, right? We always go and look for the best menus, uh, we dress up sometimes in a tux, so, I mean, we had to be a little decadent in here. So we're taking a very ordinary pasta dish, and we're enhancing it with a little edible 24 karat gold leaf. So, you can see, all right, this is our finished product, but we're not through yet because, first I'm gonna get some of that broth. Like I said, I had beef, veal, chicken, rosemary, onion, celery, carrots, garlic. Believe it or not, this is a perfectly balanced broth. All of those flavors come through individually, and then together they make one amazing rich broth. Okay? So, we tasted the broth. Now, how did our agnolini's taste with that gorgeous filling? So 
dog decadent. And you know what else? It's very, very uh, fulfilling. It's uh, satisfying. Comfort food at its best. Maybe you got a chilly New Year's Eve, wherever you are, or New Year's Day. You could have some time. You could actually make this in the time we have before we celebrate New Year's. Mm. So, awesome. Anyways, this was a quick little video. Um, something to end the year on. Something to give you a little, uh, another... Uh, form of pasta, where else in but in pasta mori. And um, remember, uh, those of you that are watching, uh, if you want to attend a live class, um, check us out at cookshopplus.com and come to our classes in um, West Hartford, Connecticut. Um, we have ongoing classes, just posted a whole new schedule for the next year. Um, it's a great gift for somebody. Anyways, I uh, hope to see you there. And um, it is time, almost. I have some Prosecco. I have my glass. So we're going to celebrate here. Uh, and I wish you all the best. Sincerely, all the health, the wealth. You say buona fortuna in Italiano. Buon capitano. Thank you for watching. See you in the new year. Ciao, ciao. Grazie tante. Salute.